Welcome back. The Broadway musical If Then, written by Pulitzer Prize winners Tom Kidd and Brian Yorkey, hit the road back in October. The show opened on Broadway and on the road with Tony winner Adina Menzel, but now the show has a brand new star. That's right. Our Tara Lynn Wagner has more. Oh, that's ahead. Jackie Burns has a big year ahead. All in the moment, I make up my mind. This January, she'll be taking over the role of Elizabeth in the national tour of If Then. It's such an honor to be the second person ever to play that role. The first person, of course, was Adina Menzel, a towering figure in musical theater and in Burns' career as well. Menzel originated the role of Elphaba in Wicked, which Burns played on tour and eventually on Broadway. Then in 2014, she was cast as Menzel's standby in If Then. I'm obviously a massive fan. I don't know any belter in musical theater that's not a fan of Adina Menzel. Burns went on for Menzel a few dozen times during the show's Broadway run and says each time she made a new discovery. Every time I played it, there was a different lyric that I was like, oh my God, that so smart how he layers everything throughout the show that there's always something that you're learning. And I think that no matter how many times I do it, I'll still be learning something, which is such a gift. Creators Brian Yorkie and Tom Kidd are ready to bring that gift to the rest of the country, with a few changes, most notably in the set. The design team has done an enormous amount. They have these gorgeous projections now that we didn't have on Broadway mm. that I find so compelling, so contemporary. They're constantly in motion telling the story. You learn to live with her. The songs are moving as well. Burns recently met us at Birdland here in New York City alongside accompanist Adam Wachter to perform some of the music she describes as absolutely haunting. It's one of those scores that every single song touches a different part of you and resonates in a different part of you. Burns may be headlining the show, but one could argue that the Big Apple plays a central role. So how does this New Yorker think audiences around the country will respond to this New York-centric story? I think what's amazing about the show and bringing it on the road is that all, all over America, people are going to get a slice of New York and maybe want to get the bug to be like, oh, i got to go there. When you're in New York City watching a musical about New York City, it's one experience. But when you're in another city watching a musical about New York City, it's almost like a little bit of a, a travelogue or hopefully a little bit transporting. You get a little chance to see what life is like. You also get to see what life is like for Elizabeth as she travels down two different possible paths. The show explores the universal question of what if, one audiences everywhere can relate to. There's not one person in this world that hasn't had a moment, a what if moment, where they didn't question a choice they made and think about how different their life could have been. I'm hoping that audiences will come in and look at their lives and, and ask some questions, but also feel empowered to make bold, exciting choices each day because that's the only way we truly live. The national tour kicked off in Denver last October with some of the original Broadway cast, including Adina Menzel and Anthony Rapp. Rapp will continue in his role when Burns steps into the spotlight later this month. We're on stage across America. I'm Tara Lynn Wagner. Thanks, Tara Lynn. Upcoming tour stops for If Then include Costa Mesa, Dallas, Tampa, Charlotte, and more. For information, go to ifthenthemusical.com.